Hi, my name is Hannah Timmer, and for this discussion board, I focus on the book Separate is Never Equal, Sylvia Mendez and Her Family's Fight for De Desegregation. Um, it's written and illustrated by Duncan Tona Chua. I don't exactly know how to say his last name. Um, he is a Mexican-American author and illustrator. He has written several award-winning novels, including this one. Um, his story themes relate to Latino experience, focusing on so social justice issues. Um, I made this selection because it had um, been nominated and won many awards, and it focuses on nonfiction and multicultural aspects of the story. Um, so this book is about the a family of the Mexican ethnicity, and they tried to enroll um, their children into school, but they're turned away immediately because of their skin color, and it's um, a white-focused school. So this family, they obviously know that's not right and that's not acceptable, so they fight for their right to an education. And so the dad takes the role of being the ultimate fighter for this case. He hires a lawyer. They fight for this in court. Um, and it almost took a year for this to be um, passed by the judge as in favor of the Mendez family. Um, even before this was um, this case won, there were signs posted at pools and restrooms that say no dogs or Mexicans allowed. I found that very shocking still <laughs> to see. Um, so after the Mendez family won their case, the um, school board decided to appeal the case and ask for another trial. Then once this was spread around town, a bunch of families came together signing a petition for the Mendez family to win. And this was um, a success because a new law stated that all children are allowed to go to school together regardless of race, ethnicity, or language. The children at first had a hard time adjusting to this new school and this new law, but they soon made new friends and felt very welcomed. Um, I think this book is really great for actually ages 8 and up because it opens their eyes to other cultures and what they had to go through to get their edu educational rights. And I think this would be a valuable lesson for this age. I know the assignment was 10 to 14, but I definitely think it could be read to eight year eight year olds. Um, yeah, this could really open their eyes to even like seeing what their friends culture is all about, like what they have gone through and things they could use empathy, they can get that skill. That's really important. Something interesting I learned about my topic is that I learned that this case took longer than I thought. It took over almost a year, maybe more, because the um, school appealed. So that was really interesting. Um, another thing is that um, that at first this was the only family fighting for their case because other worked for other families worked for white families, and they knew that if they signed the pet petition for this, that they would get in trouble or something like that. Like they would be punished because they worked for whites. Um, another thing that really interests me was, I already mentioned it, but the signs at the pools, because they were comparing dogs to Mexicans, and that's obviously not right. Um, and the lawyer who fought for the case had fought for a lot of other cases. They fought for the bathroom rights, the pool came up, and like, just things like that where they were segregated. Um, and I was also amazed at how brave the superintendent was to discriminate the Mexicans, especially in court, because they, he would say that they were disgusting and couldn't go with their school, go in their school. So that was really depressing to hear and like sad to see. Um, so I think that this um, book definitely falls into the factual and interpretive category because it throws out a lot of information and heartfelt events that have happened before in history, but it also takes the reader on the character's adventure with them. The book, it creates an emotional connection with the characters and like what they went through and it engages a lot of empathy and connection with the characters. Um, this book is an expository, sh expository structure. It fully informs and explains important events that happened in this case study. Um, I think this story follows a problem-solution pattern. It starts out with Mendez being segregated for their skin color, but they fight for their right and everyone else's and come to a solution of equal ed education, which is key. Um, this book, let me get my phone because I had the digital version of this book. This book has the author notes where it discusses the entire case on this side. And then it also has the glossary right here and the bibliography right there. And then some visual elements that were very interesting was this page. This shows the students going to the Mexican school and it shows how there's back there an electrical fence. They couldn't even sit at tables to eat their lunch. So they you could tell it was a lot worse than where they were being told to go. Um, I think 
that I was very interested in this case because it was a fight for education. I would definitely recommend this book.